Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the Sacktown Pack Count, back at it with another riff, and today we got a big one for you guys i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest i was not planning on doing this video i was not planning on buying this product but it was my birthday today and mrs pack hound actually surprised me with this box and as usual my boys at norcal sports cards hooked it up so appreciate you guys at norcal obviously mrs pack hound is the one so she got me a box of 2023 national treasures nfl this box is around two thousand dollars you only get eight cards you get six autos or mims one parallel and then one base or insert card so what this product is really known for are its true rpas that's what big chase in here is but they have some pretty cool other additional cars that will be amazing to pull they have treasured dual cuts that's where you have a present or past player along with a cut signature in the same card along with obviously rpas with nfl shields they also have triple rookie booklet shields so three rookies with three nfl shields and a trifold booklet that would be absolutely unbelievable so obviously unfortunately we're not able to pull cj stroud bryce young which that might not be too bad because he ain't playing no more or will levis autos out of this however they do have the regular cards and some inserts, but what I'm hoping for is a Puka Nakua shield, maybe a Sam Laporta, Jordan Addison. Luckily, there is a lot of really good rookies in this year's class. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you guys have not already, please don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We are hoping to pull this out and have this mosh be really, really thick. This is, I love their packaging. I mean, for $2,000, I'm sorry. It should come in a nice box like this. And unfortunately, it's not very thick. So, means we probably do not have a booklet in here. But, hopefully we have something really, really nice. There's usually the true RPAs on the back. This is actually real thin, real thin. So, it's kind of making me think there might be a redemption in here and the what what did i say last card a redemption and that's usually the rpa so could be good could be bad <laughs> depending on who it is Woo! let's go y'all come on first card should be the base and the first card james cook 26 out of 49 as usual, just basic design, but very, very classy. Love these. Love these basic designs. They don't do too much. All right, now we start getting into the Mims and the Parallel. So we did get a Bryce Young. Uh, that is the base rookie. Really wish that was a Stroud. Again, Bryce Young got replaced by Andy Dalton. And then Andy Dalton went on to destroy my Raiders. So... Don't think he'll be getting back in anytime soon, but time will tell. Looks like we have. Ooh, that would be nasty if it wasn't Jake Hayner, but that patch is absolutely disgusting, and it's 6 out of 10 with the National Pride patch on card. That is actually really, really nasty right there. Jake Hayner with the absolutely disgusting patch. That is so sick. Six out of ten. Oh, that's a nasty, nasty card. Okay, AJ Brown, Century of Materials. That's one thing I really don't like. On cards of this price point, okay, there should be no patches like this, in my opinion. You should not have sticker autos. Every piece of material should be game used, which these are not. I do not believe. Let me double check before I say. Not from any specific game or event, so he didn't even wear this probably. And it's just a single color napkin. It's just, I don't think 
that when you're getting eight cards and you're paying two thousand dollars i mean you're over two hundred dollars a card and you're getting single color napkins i just think that's terrible on panini's part another one same thing lamar jackson out of 99 literally the same card that's something else you shouldn't be getting the same card i mean that's just on panini that's just them throwing a big middle finger to the consumer. It's just crazy. Hopefully we get some autos. That's another thing. They put more memes in here than they do autos a lot of times. And I don't like that. But let's see. Let's get something big, baby. Oh, this is a triple. Oh, now that's a banger. We got triple rookie patch. Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, and Will Levis. All three that you cannot get autos from all three have exclusive deals with fanatics but that is absolutely disgusting right there that's a nice card absolutely beautiful but again though all three single color napkins at least make one of these two a white one so that it has some contrast but still an amazing card right there two cards left three cards left i think Let's go, baby. What we got here? Wesley Walls. Old school for the Panthers. 7 out of 25. Again, for this price point, a Wesley Walls? Are you serious? Like, ah, oh, man. I don't know the exact price point. I'm guessing that's probably a $20 card. I mean, that's just kind of frustrating when you pay the amount of money that you do for these, and that's what you get. Let's make it up with a banger. Let's go, baby. No, we're not. We're going to get another old school player, Steve Atwater, 18 out of 49. I mean, come on, Panini. All right. Two cards left. Two cards left. Let's go. Let's pull a banger right here. Let's go. This is sick. That is nasty. I didn't even, I don't even recognize that. That's numbers game. TJ Watt. It's not numbered though, that's kind of odd. That's nasty though, I love how that is on card. I'm gonna have to sneak this one past the wife, she's a diehard Steelers fan. That is crazy, I don't remember ever see. This is from Contenders. I'm so confused right now. This is from 2022 Contenders. If you guys know what's going on with this, let me know, I do not, what the heck? A 2022 Contenders card in a box of National Treasures. It might have been an extra card though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we got an extra card, I think. Uh, okay, I mean, I'll take it. That's a, a sick card. Last card is a redemption, y'all. Oh my God, I hope this is a big card. A really big card or else we got cooked big time. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. National Treasures. Crossover rookie patch autograph. Come on, give me a puka, baby. Card number six. That's good. But it's not a quarterback that you can get. A, not a good quarterback anyway. Let's go. Okay, Devon Achain. Achan, however you want to pronounce his name. But that's a nice one right there. I'll take that. Still didn't get close to our money back, but we'll still take that. Crossover rookie patch auto, Devon HN. Very, very nice. I'll take that for sure. Still super confused about this card. What a 2022 contenders card is doing in here, I don't know. But it's a sick card. I mean, the TJ Watt autograph, the acetate card. It's a sick looking, you know what I'm saying, card. But I don't know what it's doing in here. Love this triple patch of Levis, Stroud, and Young. Very, very nice. I'm not impressed with the, I mean, Steve Atwater, Wesley Walls, couple of napkins. I mean, this is a nasty card. Jake Hayner, though, but I mean, that, the patch is nasty. I love the card itself. Beautiful, beautiful card. Fun rip, but I mean, on a scale of one to 10, just based off of what you get, I mean, it's getting a six and a low six. I love National Treasures because when you hit 
one of the big rookie cards. If you got a Puka Nakua RPA shield or something, we're talking big money because it's the true RPAs. Is They're some of the most collectible RPAs in the hobby. Um, and they have some really cool inserts in there. You know, the treasured dual patch cut autos and they have some the the booklets. They have some really, really cool things. But then they also mix in some duds like this. I mean, honestly, if you are if you are going to charge a consumer two thousand dollars for eight nine cards, you gotta make it worth their while. I mean, throwing in single color napkins of the same card in the same pack. Throwing back players that are not very collectible. If you're going to put all school players in there, you know, players in there that are extremely collectible. You know, put Peyton Manning, Danny, Dan Marino, you know, I mean, if you're going to do a running back or, you know, say it's all, I mean, do do a big time running back, do a Eddie George or Terrell Davis or, you know, somebody that's that's still very collectible. I have. I do a lot of one-night streams. I do a ton of shows. Now, once in my life, have I ever had anybody ask me for a Wesley Walls or a Steve Atwater? Not once ever. I don't know. I just think that right now, in my opinion, Panini is doing anything they can to just grab as much money as they can before their licensing, you know what I'm saying, runs out. Um, I love National Treasures. I just think that I think it's way overpriced, way overpriced. National Treasures to me should be like a eight eight hundred dollar box. I mean, that's what National Treasures should be. That's what National Treasures was. Just not that you know, say a lot ago, it wasn't even that much. You know, uh, Prism was two or three hundred dollars back in like 2017 2018 before the big craze hit of covid and all that um but again you do have possibility of hitting some absolute monster monster cards i still am very interested if any of you guys know why this is in here please let me know so i know sometimes they they do add products of or cards of different, you know, say of products in here. I didn't hear anything about that. So that was definitely a surprise, but very good redemption. Hopefully I'll get it, <laughs> but I will keep you guys informed on that. But let me know what you guys think. I'm interested to know what you guys think about this product, about the price point, about just what Panini is putting out right now. It's crazy because I watched the, I watched the big breakers break this stuff and it's real funny how they always seem to get some insane cards all the time. Uh, but then I see smaller breakers such as myself and other people um, and just consistently getting boxes like this. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm just bugging because I got a bad box, but it's been happening a lot. So tell me what you guys uh, think about this product. Let me know what you guys think about this rip. We will very shortly have phoenix basketball on here that i am super excited about but let me know if there's something else that you guys want to see me rip let me know if there's something you want to see mrs pat count and i do a box battle on i appreciate you guys don't forget to hit that like hit that subscribe and until next time it's your boy the sad town pack hound let's get it